Yo, what is cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. Quick update, so I've now got my ears pierced. You probably all feel like I'm a weirdo, but that's all what I'm doing. And also, as you can see, I've had my barnet trimmed and I ain't washed it, so I've got a hat on. But as you can see, I'm pretty much bald as of now. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be continuing to stripping down this rest of the engine until we're down to the block. And like you saw in the previous episode, we had two massive problem bolts at the front of the engine. So yeah, we've got a couple of solutions which we're gonna do to try and undo that. We've got a big bottle of WD-40 and we've got a little bit of brain power which is gonna hopefully sort it out. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna soak this bolt in WD-40. And basically last time, as you guys saw, the rattle gun died, which I still actually have a charge. But when we were using a brake bolt, it was just spinning the whole assembly because obviously this spin. So around the back of the engine, as you can see right here, we've got where the flywheel attaches on. So I'm gonna bolt like two or a couple of bolts into there and we're gonna wedge a bar into there against the floor if it will reach. Or if not, we're gonna try to get my brother to hold it and push it the other way. And then hopefully that will loosen that bolt. And if not, we're gonna go back to the drawing board. So yeah, we're gonna give that a go. I'm gonna whack a time lapse on now and we're gonna get to work like, trying to undo this bolt and hopefully succeed in this time. That was such a result. That worked absolutely perfectly. Albeit, I did have to literally put my whole body weight on that breaker bar. I literally balanced myself there, and after about five seconds, it just popped and it went. So, spot on. And also, this other round with bolt here, such a result. I thought I was going to have to use a bolt extractor, but I thought before we do that, we'll give it a go with just a pair of pliers, just grabbing the nut and twisting it. And bada bing, bada boom, it's out. So, we are really happy with where we are now. We can literally take off this front end. So, we're going to take the timing belt and basically strip down the front of this. We're gonna to have to take the cams off, which we're gonna talk about in a bit more detail when we get to doing that. Take off this, take off this part of the thermostat housing, and then we are pretty much good to lift the head. Obviously, we've got to take the injectors out, uh, injectors, spark plugs out, all of that lot, but I am pretty pleased with where we're at. So, what we're gonna do, we are gonna sit another time lapse up, and we're gonna start taking apart the front side of the engine. Now, in terms of our cams, now there's a special way to undo these, I just can't remember off the top of my head, so I am going to check it up. But I will correct myself after I've done it, if it's different to what I'm going to tell you now. But as you can see, there's five different little clamps holding each one on. And if I remember correctly, they would make the most logical sense is you start with the middle and you'd work your way out because you don't want to do one end of warp the crank, uh, crankshaft, the cams. So you don't want to warp them, yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, so we're going to start in the middle, go one turn, also we're obviously not going to take them all the way out, we're just going to crack each one of them, then loosen them all up a little bit more and work our way. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hopefully that's perfect. I will let you know if it's any different when I look it up, because you want to make sure you're doing it right when you're doing this. And once we've done that, we've got ten bolts in here which hold the head onto the block which we're going to do in the exact same way like i mentioned we're going to do for those ones so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to do all of that and then we are going to lift the head off the block and then we're pretty much there we're ready to flip it over take off the rest of the bits and then it'll be ready for the machine shop
Right, as you can see, the head is finally off the engine. And now we're down to the bare bones pretty much. We've just got to flip it over and we'll be finishing off stripping this down in the remainder of the video. But I'm really pleased we've got rid of all of the problem bolts so we don't have any issues now, which is spot on. And also, in terms of where I was a bit worried in the previous video when I was speaking about how I put water in rather than coolant for about a month or so, it's not that much of a big deal. And two reasons for that. One, it doesn't look bad. And secondly, my next door neighbour used to build cars and build engines, work on all the trains, everything like that. And I just was having a quick chat to him and did show him and he said that is completely normal. Even though, like, you wouldn't even think I did put water in there because it was so quick, which is spot on. He said most engines that he stripped down when he started his career were all like that when you strip them down, which is fantastic. So anyway, what I'm going to do without no further ado is I'm going to flip this engine over. We're probably going to have a leakage of oil, so yeah, we'll see that when we do it. We're going to flip it over and carry on stripping this down. What that's going to entail is taking off the uh, oil pan, the oil pump, and then we can do the crankshaft, or the pistons, rods, oil squirters oil pickup line i think that's pretty much everything off the top of my head but yeah when we open it up we'll see anyway now another quick tip i'm going to flip the camera around and I'll explain to you what you need to do if you're doing this i did mention it in a previous video but i think it's really important to know that you need to do this so yeah without no further ado let's flip the camera over so what i was talking about is labeling your bulbs now we've got a whole bag here we've got all these which are from today so far and we've got another hell of a load upstairs in my office where i'm going to be building the first part of the engine probably up until here where it's not too heavy well it's where it's heavy enough where it's light enough that i can still carry it if i can get my fucking words out so yeah what we'll do is we are going to flip this over and we're going to drain the oil out or drain what's left of the oil out and then we'll be ready to start stripping apart the rest of the engine Right, as you saw from that previous clip, the oil pan is now off the engine. We're getting there, all good. Only issue is, as you can see right here, this little bit sticking out, one of the bolts snapped, which is an absolute bastard because now we need to take that out. We've got a spare, so that's not an issue. It's just getting it out because there's fuck all to grip onto. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. But what I'll do is I'll take the rest of it apart and I'll do it once that's all done because worst case scenario, I'll just drill for it and re-tap it and use a slightly bigger bolt, but I don't really want to do that. I want to use the factory bolts. Just, yeah, just for OCD reasons, really. But anyway, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and take the rest of this off now. So we've got, I haven't done this in ages, but yeah, we've got oil pickup line. There's two 10s there and a 10 there. Let's take that off, then that whole that thing will come off. Then we'll be able to get this actual like, tray thing off. I don't even know what it is, that gold tray. Or is it gold or is it... Yeah, it is gold. And there that we can go ahead and take the crank and all of that off. So we're almost there, guys. Almost ready to strip it completely down. I'm not going to talk you through this. I'll talk you through it afterwards and just tell you exactly what I did. But obviously use a similar sort of thing like we did with the head. Start in the middle and work your way out if you're doing anything. For example, the crank. So basically relieve pressure evenly and do it in stages. So just crack the bolts a little bit more. And I usually do it in three stages because I think that's the best way to do it. But anyway, what we're going to do, set up another time lapse. Yet again, you're loving the time lapses, boys. So we're going to go ahead and do another time lapse. And we're going to strip this all down. And I'll catch up with you once the engine's completely stripped.
right, as you can see, the engine is completely stripped down the block and now it's ready to the machine shop. So we're gonna be bringing that there on the coming weekend. It's actually Monday today. It's gonna to be Friday when you see this video. And then on the Saturday, we're gonna be bringing the block down to the shop to start the machining work. I'm actually really happy. We've got that all done in one day. There is one more bit which we need to do before that, but I'm not gonna film it in today's video because you don't wanna watch me slaving over a bolt. Actually, huh, is that what I've just realized? Give me a minute. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, so the bolt which was actually seized, you know the bolt for the oil, uh, oil pan, which snapped? That actually bolts into the oil pump and we're upgrading the oil pump, so we don't even need to worry about that. So we're sorted. Anyway, I'm gonna pack this all away. As you can see on the floor, we've got a head. It's already, it's not on the concrete, that one lens. It's on a bit of wood for the time being and on my rubber mats in the garage, but I'm gonna move that in a second when we finish the video. We've got the head, we've got crankshaft, we've got the old pistons and rods down there, which we're not using anymore. Loads more bits down there. So we've got everything off basically in a nutshell. But anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the video there. The next video you see, I'm not sure if I'm going to be allowed to film at the machine shop and the block's going to be dropped off there for a while anyway. But I will film a couple of little bits like going there to drop it off, collecting it and just maybe a few cinematic clips off the shop if the guy lets me do it. But I have to speak to him when I'm there so I can't promise anything. But anyway, like I said, in the next video we're going to be doing that and we're going to be starting to assemble the block back together. So I'm really super stoked. We're even going to be doing that or cracking on with the engine bay. I'm not 100% sure yet because we need to wait for a couple more bits to come to do the block. But yeah, that block's all going to get built. In the next video, we'll be doing, well, we'll be doing the uh, pistons, connecting rods, all the bearings, putting the crankshaft back in, just basically cracking back on with it. And also we're going to have to paint the block actually, I forgot about that. So once it comes back from machining the outside, the block's going to be painted. But anyway, enough rambling, I'm going to leave the video there. Massive thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.